Yo, what up, y'all? Preach Christ or die. I'm making this video because, and he probably not even ever going to see it, but I, I'm praying for the young brother, young Don. Young Don, I got on him because my son about, uh, I'm going to say about eight or nine months ago, before he became saved, or when he was just starting to get into it, he's like, yo, dad, this guy on YouTube talking about Jesus, he had a little debate with somebody, and I checked him out, and he, he did all right in the debate, but then I come back, and he got, he started taking God serious again, and I'm like, wow, this guy is sharp, like, for a new believer, I've never seen nobody get the word so correct at first, right, then he gets, uh, Involved with the the one saved always saved. I mean going against one saved always saved. Look, bro That's a battle. We're gonna fight to the day we die and go to heaven with God, right? I believe one saved always saved But my man now is getting into the point to where he's now going to get circumcised I've seen a post where he said he's gonna get circumcised. He's talking about how He believes that he can go without sinning and there's no Man, yo, bro, yo, young Don, bro. Real talk, man. You are so new in the faith that you done changed stands three times on things because you just keep putting things open. Why you think the Apostle Paul didn't start teaching until 14 years after he got into ministry? Why you think the Bible tells people that's new in the faith to not do things like that? Don't let them take leadership roles in situations like that. Because, bro, you don't even know what you believe yet, man. And you could cause a lot of harm like that. But when I come, when it comes to this, you thinking that you don't sin, brother, you are the guy that Jesus is talking to when he says, you know, you heard, do the commandments. And he's like, oh, yeah, I've done them all. And Jesus is like, oh, okay. Go sell everything you own And then you'll have reward in heaven Couldn't do it See that young brother was prideful That young brother thought he Was able to do the law He thought he was able to do the law And keep the commandments of God Bro the commandments are there As a mirror Like the apostle Paul says As a mirror to show you You can't do it It's to show you you have dirt on you. This is the standard. So when you're feeling like you're good, you remember when Jesus got on into the Sermon on the Mount and he's like, if you if you if you think about lust, you commit adultery. If you get angry, you murder. You think he's telling you to wrap it up? To start getting better? Or is he saying Oh, you think that that's the standard because they had people thinking that they actually kept the law, like you. You actually think that you keep the law, but actually, you're, bro, you foolish right now. Young Don, you wrong, bro. You wrong. You wrong right now, and you know it. To say that you don't have a negative thought, that's why it says, be perfect for I am perfect. You think he's playing? You think he's playing when he says that? Be perfect for I am perfect? Or you think he means just try real hard? No, brother. He means be perfect. And you're like, yeah, but we can't. Exactly. So we have a problem, right? And that's why Christ came. He's perfect. You thinking that you can go without sinning. You thinking that you can just... And let me ask you something. Bro, this is so crazy. Listen. Even if you never sin again, right now, you still ain't perfect, bro. Because you already have sinned. You already tainted. So no matter what, you can never achieve this. You are getting in, you are, you are reading the Bible from, and you're jumping back and forth. Like the Bible says, like what, whatever the wind blows. And I've known believers, especially young believers. As soon as you hear someone different that, that sparks your ears, you're quick to run. You don't have positions yet. And if you're going so far to be circumcised, listen, do what you want, bro. I ain't saying. You even said that it's not for salvation, but you want to keep the law. Bro, the law was never for you. It was never for the Gentiles. 
And you know what Romans says? You, not being, you being a Gentile, if you go and try to put yourself under the law because it was never for you, you become a curse. Because now you have to keep the whole law. Perfectly. Not trying, bro. Perfectly. You could keep telling yourself that you're keeping it perfectly all you want. You could keep confusing yourself about that. But brother, I know you know you are a liar. And if you think you are, then that's pride. You know what I'm saying? To say that you are never going to have a negative thought. You are never going to get angry. You are never going to... Bro, you, you wildin'. Why would you even want to put yourself under such... Because what's going to happen is, now you're going to start doing that to your family. Now you're going to start telling your family, that your, your family, oh, y'all y'all got to be like me. You see what I'm saying? I don't sin. They're not going to be able to live up to that, bro. And you're going to start, bro, people are going to start be hate to be around you. I'm telling you, bro, this was the hardest scripture for me when I first got saved because I'm like, you got to be honest with yourself. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I was trying. I was trying not to sin. But how, man? How, bro? How can you try not to sin? And I know what you're thinking. Like everyone else that we, I talk about this with, they say, oh, you just telling people they need, they, they, they got a license to sin. Bro, we are sinning well without a license. You see what I'm saying? We are sinning anyway. Because the flesh man, the flesh that's in me, loves to sin. The spirit man hates the sin. But the thing is, the more you in Christ, the more you don't want it. And I've heard, I think I, I, it was MacArthur that said a long time ago, he's like, the older you get, the, the more you sin less, but the worse you feel. Because you hate your sin. But for you to say that you are not sinning, man, you're living a lie. And, the, and, 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 and it's going to be the clo the people that's closest to you. You are going to look like a phony. Because they're going to see it, bro. They see it. Your weakness, especially kids, man. Especially kids when they get older. And they start being around you. And you over there preaching this. I'm perfect. I ain't. I'm not sinning. And look. You saying you sinning. That don't. Being perfect don't mean trying hard, bro. You can not. Keep the law of God. Okay? But the thing is this. you I heard you say this. You, I heard you say, uh, yeah, but Christ, Christ says to keep my commandments. But what commandments is he talking about? Is he talking about the law of Moses? Or is he talking about his commandments? Love the Lord your God and your neighbor as yourself. And all things is be, uh, I'm paraphrasing it. But all things is covered into that. You do those two, and all things is involved in that. Brother, you wrong. You wrong, and you walking on dangerous grounds. I'm going to go with this. The uh, two men that's praying to Jesus. Two men that's praying. Jesus talking about this. Got these two men praying. One, he's looking up at the stars. I mean, one, he's looking. He's like, thank you, God, that I'm not like him. I... I don't do this. I don't do that. I pay my tithes. I, the next man could not even look at the sky, but beat his chest and said, Lord, please have mercy on me, a sinner. Who you think went home righteous that day? Preach Christ or die. 